This video tutorial is designed to be used as a supplement to the printed guide available on the Bentec software under the Help menu. Please take the time to go through step by step through the guide at your own pace to gain a complete understanding of assembly. Let's get started. Here's a look at the assembly we are going to create in this exercise. We will start our assembly by selecting New Assembly from our drop down menu. The assembly window is broken down into two main areas. On the left is the tab area where we make our feature selections and value inputs. On the right is a graphical area where we will make our screen selections and can visually see our assembly. We will now begin by creating our first part of our assembly. We are going to create the four pick points representing this part. We first select the pick points tab. Notice the incremental move values such as front, back, left, right, ceiling, and floor in this box. We will select the select reference point command button. We are going to start by using the point at the center of the tri-star. When the pick point is selected it will turn red. We will enter a value of 36 in the ceiling field as our next point is 36 inches above our reference point. You will notice a magenta color pick point located straight up from our reference point. Our first point is also 6 inches in from our reference point. We need to enter a 6 into the left field. We can now press the apply command button to set the point and the new pick point turns from magenta to green. Selecting our new point makes it become the reference point. It will turn to red. We enter a 36 in the left field and select apply. Next we will select the center point of the TriStar once again and we will enter a 48 in the left field and select apply again creating our last point. We will now move to the main tab. On the main tab is where we do our part creation and manipulation. We will select the bent part command button. We now must enter in our material. In this example we are using inch and three quarter material with a 4 inch center line radius. We will now select apply to choose that material. Next we are asked for the number of bends. Our part consists of two bends so we enter a 2 and select OK. Now using the cursor we will select the pick points to add our bend part. Starting with the pick point at the center of the TriStar, then the pick point at the location of the first bend, the second bend, and the point at the far end of the part, we will use the default name of part 1 and select OK to continue. We have now created our first part. We can see how the part changes. First, the apex points we used are now changed to arcs. Second, there are new pick points in blue located at the start end of the arc, center point, midpoint, and at the apex of the arc. You also find our part is now listed in the master parts list. This list contains parts we have used or ones we want to use. It is now time to create our second part. This part is exactly the same as the first part but we will need to create one more pick point and then paste. The distance from our first to second part is 72 inches. We will begin by selecting the pick Pick Points tab. We will select the Select Reference Point command button. We will select the point in the middle of the TriStar. We then need to enter a 72 into the front field. We will now see a new magenta pick point in our assembly. We will select Apply to select that new point. The new pick point is now green. Under the main tab, we are going to paste our part. We will select the first part from the, past, from the master parts list. This line now turns yellow indicating that we have selected that part. We will now select the paste part command button. As we move our cursor we will see a copy of part 1 attached to it. We will select our new pick point and set our new part. Our third part is like the first two except it has shorter legs. We will begin by pasting a copy of the first part and then shortening the legs. 
This part is 36 inches from our first part. We will begin by selecting the Pick Points tab and selecting the Select Reference Point command button. We will select the center of the TriStar for our reference point and enter in a value of 36 in the front field. We will see our new magenta pick point has been placed. We will select the Apply Command button setting the new point. We now select the main tab and we can add our third part. We will select the first part from the master list and then select the paste part command. We then select our last pick point and place our third part. Now we need to shorten the legs of our center part. The straight sections will have a length of 7 inches. We will first learn a process of picking two additional pick points and then moving the part to the new location. We will use the two points to place a new pick point. We will first select the pick point tab. We will now select the two points tab within the pick points tab. The two points environment allows for selecting two pick points on the screen and then giving the software the distance down the line where to place the new pick point. We will begin by selecting the add pick point two points command button. We will select the pick point on our center of our part that starts the first bend. We will now select the pick point at the beginning of the part. You will notice there is a red line now between the two pick points and a zero zero at the first pick point. Back on the two points tab, it will say the length of the line is. This is the length of the red line which was just defined. The next value we enter will be the distance from the first point towards the second point. We will enter a value of 7 in the delta field. A new magenta pick point will be displayed. We will select the apply tab and now uh, we will repeat the re procedure for the other side of the part. We will select add pick point two points. Select the first point of the line. Select the beginning of the line. Leaving seven in the delta field. We can now apply setting our second pick point. Now it's time to make the part shorter. We will select the main tab. We will then select the second move command button. This is the move command for moving a feature. The other move button moves an entire part. Moving a feature is a three step process. First we select the pick point on the part we want to adjust. Now we can see there is only one part containing the feature we want to move. We will select the pick point that is the location of the feature you want to move. We see the feature to be moved is tied to the cursor. Now we can select the new location for the end of our part. We will select the new pick point and shorten our leg. We can now repeat the procedure for the other side. 